In this video, we're going to talk about the different adjustments and controls that you have on your yard enforcer and what they do. Um, the first one you have here is the mode selection. Uh, you'll have four selections, off, day, night, and always. Um, off obviously turns the sprinkler off, so it will not activate regardless of what happens around it. Um, the daytime will mean this will only run during times when it senses a good deal of light, so during the daytime. Um, the sensor built into it can kind of tell when it's daytime or when it's uh, artificial light, so it can distinguish between the two. Nighttime is the opposite. It will only go on when it's uh, night and it senses movement. And then the always has the yard enforcer sensor always sensing for movement and then therefore always activating. Um, next we have the duration. That dictates how long the spray will go each time some kind of movement sets it off. So um, if you go all the way down, you're only going to have a few seconds. Whereas if you go all the way up, you could have as much as 30 seconds um, for each time that some kind of movement sets it off. Now the yard enforcer does have a, a bit of programming built into it so that it will not be set off continuously over and over and over. So you don't run the risk of um, wasting water. Another sensor that it has is it's able to detect when the movement is sort of continuous, such as um, you know a branch on a tree that's blowing in the wind back and forth, it will be able to detect that that's just something that's happening all the time and it's not actually uh, anything it needs to worry about or set off for. So um, that's that one. Next you have range, and that's the range of the sensor. That's how far out it will actually sense for movement. So you can set it all the way up and um, that will get a good distance, upwards of 50 feet, and all the way down will keep it much tighter. So those two things you're probably going to want to dial in once you get it set, uh, get, get it set up, because um, out of the box it's just sort of set in the middle on the defaults, and those always don't match what people are trying to do with their yard. Here we have a 30 minute water cycle button, and that allows the yard enforcer to be used as just a regular sensor, or sorry, for, as a regular sprinkler for a 30 minute duration. So if you have um, your yard enforcer set up to go on during the night and you said you wanted to water for 30 minutes before it started its kind of um, seeking mission, you would hit this button and it will start watering for 30 minutes. It's got a timer built into it that will count down and um, once it gets to the end of the cycle it will stop watering then and then it will turn into sensor only mode. So it will only activate when it senses movement. Um, so that's how you adjust the different controls. Um, if you wanted to articulate the sprinkler, there is a knob here that lets you pivot the, um, pivot the head down or up to kind of get just the right, um, you know, just the right setting for whatever the outlay of your yard ER requires.